What's up, fellow movie boss and film connoisseurs? It's yourself for playing Cinema Shogun here. And as you can see, Chris Laundry was out in his yard this morning putting in new no trespassing signs. But my question is, is this really necessary? Now, of course, I know it's pretty much necessary on Chris Laundry's behalf because he's trying to keep people from coming up to his house and different things like that. But what I'm trying to say is, is it really necessary for these crazy scenes to continue to take place outside of the laundry home? Don't get me wrong. In no way, shape, or form am I going soft on you guys or anything like that. But if Brian's gone, is there really a reason for people to still be outside yelling and screaming and all this, that, and the third? Now, when it comes to the, the protesters that have been involved in this whole case, you know, I've agreed with some of the things they've done and I've disagreed with some of the things they've done. But all in all, I'm no one that's supposed to be here to judge anyone. You know, and people are going to do what they're going to do. I'm just here to report to y'all what's going down. So overall, like I said, I haven't agreed with everything the protesters have done, but I would be lying if I said that they haven't done some good. I mean, they got Cassie to talk up. A lot of the information that we've gotten out of the case have come from random people standing outside of the laundry home. So I can't say that they haven't done any good. I would be lying to myself and to all of you if I stated that here today. But at the same time, what good would it do to still be out there in that neighborhood causing a ruckus in front of the laundry home? Brian is gone. Now, even though Brian is gone, there's still some questions that need to get answered. And I still want to know some things from Brian's parents, don't get me wrong. But I don't think Brian's parents are going to come outside and talk to these protesters. They haven't before, why would they now? And before, even when it were times, even when the protesters were doing things that I didn't agree with, you know, which was pissing off the neighbors and stuff as well. In the back of my mind, I knew like, man, you know, Brian Laundrie's on the run. This family's probably helping him on the run. So at the same time, I couldn't really, I don't know what word to say. I couldn't really feel bad. I couldn't really, even though I might not agree with their tactics, I couldn't really talk down on it. But the fact is Brian is gone. There is no Brian on the run. There is no Brian hiding out there. Or is there? But the fact that, you know, that's the case now, I don't know if it's necessary to continue on outside of this home. For one, my main issue has been this whole time is that you're disturbing all of the neighbors and all the people that have nothing to do with this case. Now, when we thought Brian Laundry was on the run and he was hiding somewhere, maybe that was a necessary evil. Okay, we could debate that. That it was maybe a necessary evil. But now that he's gone, I just don't know if it's necessary. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure a lot of you feel that it's still necessary. And a lot of you might agree with me here today. But at the same time, I think that we, we don't need to lose our sense of humanity in this case, we don't want to become, we, want, we don't want to allow this situation to make us do things that we normally wouldn't do. We don't want to step out of character. There, there's the words for it. Let's make sure that none of us here step out of character. I would like to believe that all of us here are good people. So let's make sure that we remain good people. Let's make sure that we don't stoop to all types of lows and this, that, and the third, because that's just not the type of people we are. So overall, when I look at this scene and I see Brian's dad putting up the new trespassing signs, and I know in my heart that it's not over. Not only is this case not over and we still need more answers, but the stuff going on in front of his house is not over. Not by a long shot. There'll probably be stuff going on out there for the next couple of weeks, if not longer. And I'm going to cover all of it, no matter what happens. And uh, I'm sure it's going to get crazy, but I'm going to be here to cover it all. But for right now, I just, I don't know. I just don't feel right with all this stuff going on outside of their home still, knowing that Brian's gone, knowing that they're grieving Brian. And it's not that, oh, I feel so bad for them. And I know they brought it upon themselves and that Brian brought it upon himself. 
I just don't necessarily think that the day after they found out that Brian is gone, or we think they found out that Brian is gone, if it's necessary to be outside of their front door, banging on the door with megaphones and screaming and yelling and this, that, and the third. Like this, I think everyone should give it a rest for a little while. And I think this weekend we should all get a little rest. I think I'm going to get some rest. I think I need a drink. <laughs> Honestly, I think I need a drink after all of this. But while all of you are here, I just want to say thank all of you. I want to thank all of you for all of the support. It means the world to me. Going through my comment section every day, looking at all the comments, you guys are awesome. Not only are some of you downright hilarious and have me rolling on the floor laughing, like sometimes I'm at work and I can't really reply to my comments while I'm at work, but I go through my comments and just read them, just to see the feedback. And y'all are some funny ass MFers. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just sitting there just rolling laughing and people look at me like, what? And I'm just like, man, if you could only see the stuff that people are leaving in my comment sections. So I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I really need a good laugh at times. So your humor doesn't go unnoticed. Also the kind words, they mean a lot to me. And I love all of you too. Every last one of y'all watching this right now, I love you. Watching this right now, looking at me, yes, I love you. And all of you keep asking, where are my dogs? Listen, they're coming. If you've been watching my videos, you know they've made some guest appearances. They're coming, they're coming. They'll be back here for future videos, do not worry. But like I said, while all of you are here, I just wanna thank you all for all of the constant support. And to everyone who's donated to the channel, I really appreciate it. I don't know if y'all want me to like, call y'all out by names and give y'all shout outs. But if y'all do, let me know and I will. So that's why I haven't really been saying anything, but a few people have donated and helped the channel and every dollar of it is going to bring y'all a better experience, better camera equipment, better audio equipment, all of that. Live streaming equipment, because I will start live streaming one day soon, all of that. I'm not using the money to go buy lunch. Look at me, look at me. I've been eating just fine before YouTube, okay? I've been eating just fine before any of this. Before you found my channel, I wasn't missing any meals. So don't worry about that. The money's not going to Arby's. No one eats Arby's. I don't even know why I said Arby's. The money's not going to lunch and different things like that. The money is going to bring y'all a better experience. But like I said, I really do appreciate everything. And I can't wait to bring y'all more content. And I can't wait to get to the bottom of this case still because it's not over. But while you're here, drop your opinions about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, hit that like button, go to the description of this video. I have a link to my other channel. You can support me over there. The link to my cash app will be down there. You can support the channel over there. And I'll have a link to my Twitter. You can follow me there. And as always, find some time out of your day to enjoy your weekend and watch a couple of movies.